Fast bro. Okay, Clarence, here's your bow. I just shot it um, for your video. Uh, <clears throat> so immediately after streaming it, of course, it's going to look like uh, it lost a little reflex, but given an hour or two sitting, it'll go right back. Um, most important is to don't leave this in direct sunlight. Um, store it in a nice, uh, cool, dry place. Um, I have sealed the sinew with multiple layers of shellac and I sanded it down to take away some of the gloss to it because I know you didn't want that. Um, you know, it's just common sense stuff. I just, I know you already know this, but I figured I'd just let you know again. Um, just keep it out of the water, try and keep it out of the rain. Um, like a, don't leave it in a hot car or anything because the wood could become too brittle. Um, so here's the stitching. Um, I did an overlap flap on the, the handle here. So you kind of have somewhat of a guide for an arrow rest for your hand right there. Um, depending on which side you're going to shoot off of, if you'd like to add like a small piece of leather right here to protect the sinew, over time with multiple shots, it could like kind of scratch the sinew a bit. So you can just glue or put on a little tiny thread of leather here if that's what you want or not. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I string it. Um, <clears throat> this is just a Flemish twist bend string here. Uh, the way it is now, it's a little um, long. So I do a couple twists. Um, and this bow has a shorter brace height. It's not like a seven inch brace height. It's about four and a half, five inches. And <clears throat> so I'll hold it here. 
put it right behind my knee, the handle right behind my knee or my calf, right here. And then I'm gonna pull very slow initially. Even though I just strung and shot this, I'm still gonna pull slow. And you wanna bend the limbs nice and even. Okay. And <clears throat> if the limb looks a little unbalanced because it's uh, the sinew, so you're gonna squeeze a little bit on the the uh, the the side that's giving more, so the stiff limb can be stressed a little bit more to balance it back out, and just hold it for a few seconds, and then it should even right right back out again. It's not out of tiller. It may look like it's out of tiller, but it's not. It's just the sinew, and then just hold it. And when you first string it, leave it strong for a few minutes, like five, six minutes before drawing on it. And as always, uh, first few shots that you do out of it, don't go full draw all the way. You wanna warm the bow up and work it in a little bit every time. That just will ensure, you know, the life of the bow stays good, you know. But uh, this is it, right here. 40 pounds at 22 inches. So these are some local viburnum that I harvested and straightened out. <clears throat> They're very light. Uh, two feather fletch here, wild turkey feathers, and they've been hafted and wrapped with sinew and fish glue. Um, <clears throat> I made an extra arrow here. Um, this was just the practice arrow to test the spine of the shafts and stuff. Uh, so I'm throwing this one in for you. Um, and I made a little bone point for it. And that's hafted with sinew as well. So you get an extra arrow. Um, cool, I hope you enjoy it. It was fun.